into this matchup. Yeah, Adashev is not going to deal with that in tonight's fight. He's a pressure fighter on the feet, the kickboxer. He's got some takedowns from the clinch and all fit struggles. But this is the type of fight where he gets to put his full tips coming in his direction. I mean, you just look at him physically. If you go back and watch night down back at his natural weight class, 125 pounds, and had a f The Lion Adashev. He can become a very important... That length and mix in his already beautiful striking and powerful... 2% finish rate for the Tibetan Eagle Sumu Darji for him, DC. He doesn't have the ground credentials, but been working. Always go on the wrestling mat. Well, you saw it, right? You saw it in the smoker fight. Take then for this contest. And look at the three inches taller than Adashev. And then the wingspan of Sumuch to introduce the fighters is Bruce. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC flyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A mixed martial artist holding professional record. Three wins, two losses. He stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 126 pounds. Fighting out of New York, New York, USA, by way of Samarkand, Uzbekistan, Zaruk Kalayan Adashev. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a striker holding a professional record, 13 wins, 4 losses. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall. Weighing in at 126 pounds, fighting out of Shishwan, China, the Tibetan Eagle, Samudaji! Yeah. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Jason Herzog. Jason Herzog shares the octagon with our flyweights. Thank you very much, Red De La Cruz. Round one ahead. There is Zaruk the Lion, Adashev. First round, buddy, against ready. the Tibetan buddy, Eagle, Fight. Sumu Daji comes in as a minus 500 favorite into this contest. Steps into that southpaw stance, opens up with a lovely inside leg kick. The length of Sumu Daji is something that's going to be very beneficial. Oh, to him but he gets at 125. And that's what I talked about when I talked to Dashev and his coaches. They liked it being able to fight the taller fighter because he likes closing that distance and throwing those overhands and those big hooks. And as the longer fighter, Suma Darja needs to throw something when Adashev is entering. If he just backs up, you'll see Adashev throw those looping hit, fight, those looping punches, big right hand, big left hand, as Uma, Suma Darja is trying to back out of range. And that's when you catch those longer fighters. Suma Darja believes that speed is going to be his best attribute in this fight. Combine that with those rangy strikes as well. Adashev with a lot of kickboxing experience. Former glory, former glory kickboxer. Beautiful inside leg kick there from Sumo Darji. And look how fast that right switch kick is. And you look at Adashev's record, right? And you say, oh my goodness, three and two. But this young man was 16 and three with 10 knockouts in yeah. kickboxing. So he has a high level of striking experience that carries him, in, carries him into the UFC. And in the Sumadarji fight, he's fighting a guy that isn't looking to take him down. So in reality, he would be the more skilled or more experienced standout fighter in this matchup. Yeah. But Paul, as you, as you were saying, with Adashev's camp and then Sumadarji, both of these fighters are doing the right things. They're at great camps. Nick Katone for yep. Adashev and then Team Alpha Male. So they're getting all the looks that they need. It's going to be interesting to see if they, if they do try and switch it up on us. Yeah, though. I mean, it's a tale of two game plans here, right? You've got Sumo Darji, who obviously wants to keep this on the outside, use his range, use that laser beam of a left hand, as well as that inside leg kick. You see him already forcing Adashev to switch stances, which I know he tends to do anyway. But for Adashev, he's got to try to close this distance, get inside. But easier said than done when you've got such a talented striker in Sumu Darji. And DC, we spoke about Sumu Darji not going back to China and sticking around in the US to improve his skills. But Adashev left his family in New York to move to New Jersey away from everyone. That was twice. I watched Sumu Darji right there throw his jab in and fade back out of position to try to go Adashev into trying to counter. And then watch him throw that check right hook. He throws the jab in and he starts to fade back knowing that Adashev's gonna follow him back in and he yeah. throws a check right hook. He's done it two times. He's trying to set traps. Yes, he is. 
the jab, then he's going to try to fade back because he knows Adashev is coming, trying to counter his jab. It's a beautiful little setup there by Sumadarji. I love that switch kick from Sumadarji. So fast. Later today, two of the best welterweights in the world headline the main card. Michael the Maverick Chiesa takes a three-fight win streak into the octagon to face the surging Neil Magny. Tremendous five-fight main card continues nice and early, noon Eastern, right here on ESPN. You see it, Paul? You see him there? Yep. He's kind of, he, he, Adashev didn't play the game. Adashev didn't do what he's expecting right there. But I tell you, man, the moment he charges in after that, off of that jab, he's going to find himself eating a big right hand. Yeah, Adashev's got to try to get his own offense going, yep. though. Because Sumo Darji has no issue staying out here all day and playing this game. Hey, Paul, I love that you said the game because it's a game. Look, Ooh, it's a go. game within a game here, right? Sumo Darji's trying to set the trap. He's trying to see if Adashev is going to play the game, play his game, dance his dance as they get going in this fight. Well, Adashev indicated that it always seen Sumadaji pressure the fighters, but he was always fighting grapplers. So he didn't think that Sumadaji was going to come out here and try and put pressure on him because he might be scared of his hands, but that doesn't seem to be the case. No, it does not. I think Adashev's doing a good job, though. Yeah. He is getting inside and he's staying relatively safe and countering. The cleaner shots obviously are being landed by Sumadaji at this point. Because Sumadarji can get to him from much further away. Yeah. Right? The distance, the reach that he has. He does a really good job of fighting at range. I love oh, to show go. just the, the distance at which they fight, how their feet are never close. Look at all the space in between those two. Now, if you look at a taller guy and a shorter guy, it's very easy to see who would hold the advantage whenever there's that much distance between the fighters. Uh, over here. Over there, over there. All right, over there, come here. Sit. Deep breaths. Slow your breathing. Breathe in your nose, out your mouth. Good. In your nose, out your mouth. Have a, have a little water. Okay, so now we know you can kick with this guy, right? You can kick. I just need you to set it up. When you start swinging for the fences at his head, that's when you miss. Use your straight punches to close the distance for those big shots. Mix it up to the head and the body, okay? okay. Also, use those stance switches to close the distance. He can't keep up with that, okay? He can only back up so fast. If you're switching stances, closing the distance, he can't keep up. Okay. And don't go straight back when he comes at you. Cut your angles, okay? okay? okay. That's all you need to know. Let's go get him. Right. Combination. Welcome back after tonight's main event. Don't miss a recap of all the action on tonight's post show on ESPN Plus. DC, Felder and Brett join John Anik to break it all down after the main event. Only on ESPN Plus. You know it. Be there or be square. <laughs> <laughs> they should definitely put that into my screen. 100%. I mean, it I've wasn't? I've never heard anyone would... say anything cooler. <laughs> <laughs> I would read that every time during the fight. All right. Let's see here. Let's see here. Oh, 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 nice there it is. is. Yep. That's what his corner says. Listen, this is truly a chance for Adasha to show that he, like you said, DC, he's got the kickboxing experience here. Yep. He may not have it in MMA, but this is not really going to be an MMA fight, is it? No, did you see what he did there? He threw the double jab and then he let the last punch follow. Sumadarji picked up on a sequence in the first round that they were stopping after two strikes. Adashev just extended it one extra punch and he landed the best strike of the fight for himself. Adashev knew that he was going to be in for a war when there was an opponent switch from Jeff Molina, his original pairing. But he needs to take all and every opportunity to be successful in this game. Oh, nailed him with the left hand. That was nice by Suma Darji, double jab, with that left hand right over the top. Suma Darji's become quite a big star back home. Oh, is this a little wrestling here? 
Huh? Became an MMA fight there, do you see? I love the way that these guys faint at each other the entire time, right? Before they go, they always pop a shoulder. They always faint the punch. They always maybe throw the half jab. It's never just a blind attack. Ooh, that was risky. And he's playing for it. Oh, big right hands there from Adashev. Those are some big shots by Adashev. Oh, left hook. I like this. I think that's yes. a smart move for Adashev to mix in some of these takedowns and level changes to get Sumo Darji off of his game. And to show him that if he lets him get close, he's going take to you down. him. Yes. Yeah. Take it down. And if I get a hold of him, I'm going to let everything fly. Oh, boy, that left hook, if that had landed, uh, Sumo Darji's hands were completely down. Adashev really growing into this fight. Yes, he is. Much better second round for Adashev. How about the depth of talent at 125 pounds It really is right becoming now. one of the divisions to watch right now. Love it. And to think this division was on its way out. So if not for Henry Cejudo and now Deuce de Guerra, Davison Figueredo and his exciting style and ability to... Oh! Oh! Shook his head, Paul. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which, as we talked about earlier, means you just got cracked. <laughs> got him a little bit. And look at how Adashev now has successfully closed the distance in round number two. To the point that he's landed numerous great shots on Tuma Darshan. From both sides, too, DC, because he's switching his stances. But what he's doing is that he's punching into it. He's getting confidence now, but Sumo Darji just needs to land one time to get himself right back into the round. With that kickboxing acumen, he's downloading all the information of Darshev and he's finding a deal. But he gets caught the counter check. Hey, that's that check. What did I say? Oh my God. Right, we Beautiful. talked about it. He's trying to get out of range. Setting traps. And that little check hook. And boy. Oh, 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 oh no. He's oh, in trouble. Sumo Darji's laying it on now. Sumo Darji has some insane power. The smile is coming back across the face of Sumo Darji. I mean, he hit him with that counter left right hook. Then the jab stunned him on the last one, followed by the left hand. And look at the patience. We spoke earlier about how Nurmagomedov hurt his opponent and rushed a bit. Look at Sumo Darji. Had him hurting and goes right back to just calculating, as you guys said earlier. Adashev circling the outer octagon. Last 30 seconds in this round. Still another five minutes to go. Just when Adashev was looking to find his way back in, Sumadaji has the biggest moment of the fight. We're going to see a third back after these. You're fine, sit, sit. Deep breaths, slow your breathing. Here's some water here, take the water. Slow your breathing. All right, I'm gonna be real with you, you're down two, okay? Now, you have what it takes to knock this guy out. We need to set it up appropriately, okay? I need you to use your straight shots. Whenever you fire straight shots, you end up hurting him. When you all right, huh? Then you should be a Yes, wash your fingers. Please wash your fingers. Be careful. Uh -huh. <laughs> so it's okay. It's okay. 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 You want the right? <laughs> We talked about Suma Darji setting up the trap by knowing his opponent's rushing. Mm. Check right hook was going to land, and there it was. And the snot went flying. Hey, that's happened to me before in the middle of that octagon. Yeah, the yeah, snot right. goes flying, you know that the punch landed real good. And that was a round that 
Adashev looked fantastic in, and Sumu Darji took it back with that hook and dropping him. Yeah, man, he just kind of slides. He slides knowing that he can go Adashev into going Ooh. forward and throwing big looping punches, and if his is just a little tighter, he's going to get to the chin first. Yeah, and I like that it, 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 Adashev's corner was true with him. Yeah. You know, they're like, listen, you sit say, down. Impressive cornering. I can't yeah. tell who it is to the mask's on, but... It's my boy Ryan. <laughs> The round before, when they gave it, he gave a detail, didn't he, DC? He came out and he put the combination right on him, and that's yeah. when he started to really find, get things going. Yeah, find some success, you know. And I mean, this, th these guys are very talented stand-up guys, very good strikers. But I mean, Sumadarjan's ability to control range, his ability to be in and out and stay out of real significant danger for a young fighter. This is nice work. Let's see how the judges scored this one. We'll come back with the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. The judges scored the contest 29-28, 29-28, and 30-27 for the winner by unanimous decision, the Tibetan Eagle, Sumu Darji. Thank you. What a fantastic performance, Sumu Darji. You were able to keep him at range. Was that the game plan coming in, keeping him at range and you leading all the interactions? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, actually, I'm not very satisfied with my performance. I was planning to do a lot more. Take a look at the replay up here. You did some great work from the outside, landed a lot of great strikes. Counter right hand, you hurt him very bad in the second round. Did you see that early, that as he lunged in, you would have the ability to land that shot? Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, my lead hand is my weapon, and I'm trying to learn from the best UFC fighters, including Max Holloway, who fought last week. Congratulations on the fantastic performance. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Suma Darji. Congratulations to that man, and what a fine example that was set for young fighters on the weekend, Max Holloway. As we see the celebration there with his team. Congratulations once again. So, Michael, the Maverick. The action begins. Our referee in charge, Jason Herzog. Thank you very much, Red De La Cruz. Round one ahead. In an eagle, Sumu Daji comes in as a minus 500 favorite. Side leg kick. The length of Sumu Daji is something that... Dashev and his coaches, they liked it being able to fight the taller. As the longer fighter, Suma Darja needs to throw something when adopting punches. Big right hand, big left hand as Uma, Suma Darja. Darja believes that speed is going to be his best attributes. Darja with a lot of kickboxing. Beautiful inside leg kick there from Suma Darja. And look how fast that right switch. Too. But this young man was 16 inch three with 10 knockouts of yeah. him into the UFC. And in the Suma Darja fight, he's fighting the more skilled are more experienced saying with Adashev's camp and then Sumidaji both of these fights are male for male so they're getting all the looks that they need it's going to be in Sumidaji who obviously wants to keep this on the outside use his range use that laser Adashev to switch stances which I know he tends to do anyway that's such a talented striker in Sumidaji and DC we spoke about left his family in New York to move to New Jersey away from everyone position to try to go he starts to fade back knowing that Adashev is going to follow him back in. And he yeah. grabbed and he's going to try to fade back because he knows Adashev is coming. Trying to... 
Ooh. I love that switch kick. Two of the best welterweights in the world headline the main card. Michael the Maverick, Kiesa, take tremendous fight fight main card continues nice and early, noon Eastern. He, Adashev didn't play the game. Adashev didn't do what he's, he's going to find himself eating a big right hand. Because Sumo Darji has no issue staying out here all day and playing this. In a game here, right? Sumo Darji's trying to set the trap. He's trying to this fight. Well, Adashev indicated that he didn't think that Sumo Darji was going to come out here and try and put pressure on him. I think Adashev's doing a good job, though. Yeah. He is. The cleaner shots obviously are being landed by Sumo Darji at this point. Right? The distance, the reach that he has. He does a really good job up there. Feet are never close. Look at all the space in between those two. Whenever there's that much distance between the fighters. Okay. Sit. Deep breaths. Slow your breathing. Breathe in your nose, out your mouth. Good. In your nose, out your mouth. Okay, so now we know you can miss. Use your straight punches to close the distance for those big shots. And keep up with that, okay? He can only back up so fast. If you're switching stances, close. that's all I need to know. Let's go get him. Combination. Welcome back. Plus, DC, Felder, and Brett join John Anik to break it all down. Where? <laughs> <laughs> they should definitely put that into my <laughs> I would read that every time during the fight. All right. Combination. Listen, this is truly a chance for Adashev to show them it in MMA, but this is not really going to be an MMA fight, is it? No, it picked up on a sequence in the first round. He's the best striker to fight for himself. Jeff Molina, his original pairing. Oh, nailed him with the left hand. Wrestling here. Wow. Became an MMA fight there, do you see? I love the way they paint the punch. They always maybe throw the half jab. It's never just... Oh, big right hands there from Adashev. Those are some big shots by... Move for Adashev to mix in some of these takedowns and level changes to count. Yes. Yeah. Take it on, and if I get a hold of I'm going to let everything flow. Adashev really growing into this fight. Yes, he is. Much better. The division to watch right now. Love it. And to think this division was on now. Duce de Davison Figueredo and his excitement. Shook his head, Paul. Yeah. And look at how Adashev now has successfully closed on Sumo Darji. From both sides, too, DC, because he's switching his stances, Paul. But Sumo Darji just needs to land one time to get himself right back into the round. Kickboxing acumen. He's down. Hey, that's a check hook. What did I say? Oh, my God. You said it. That's hook, right? We oh. 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 oh, no. He's in trouble. Oh Sumo Darji. Across the face of Sumo Darji. I mean, he hit him with that counter left right hook. Get the patience. We spoke earlier about how Mega Medoff hurt his opponent, as you guys said earlier. Last 30 seconds in this round. Just when at this moment of the fight, we're going to see a third back up. Here's some water here. Take the water. That's about it. All right. I'm going to be real with you. You're down two. Okay? Oh, you need to set it up appropriately, okay? okay? I need you to use your straight shots whenever. All right. Then you should be able to charge it. Yes. Okay. 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 We talked about Suma Darji setting up the trap by not went ready. flying. Hey, that's happened to me before in the middle of that octagon. Ashev looked fantastic in, and Suma Darji took it back with that hook. Ashev in the going Ooh. forward and throwing big looping punches, and his just. Ashev's corner was true with him, yeah. though. You know, they're like, listen, I was about to sit down. The round before, when they get to really get things going. Yeah, find some success. You know, and Suma Darji's ability to control range. A young fighter, this is very nice work. A decision.
Welcome back. So in just three days, this time in a rematch, six years in the making against Nola's finest, only on ESPN Plus. But the official decision over to decision. The judges scored the contest 29-28. The Tibetan Eagle, Sumu Darji. What a fantastic performance, Sumu Darji. And you leading all the interactions. Performance, I was planning to do a lot more. Take a look at the replay up. You heard him very bad in the second round. Did you see that early that as he including Max Holloway who fought last week. Congratulations on the fantastic performance. Man, and what a fine example that was set for with his team. Congratulations once again.